Hi, Daniela. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice to see you again. Great to see you again. I'm so happy that we're here this time talking in English. Um, I'm very happy that you came to my O Connecting uh, meeting. For those who um, don't know Daniela, I met Daniela a few years ago, and actually in the past month, I interviewed you in Hebrew. And for me, this is a first today uh, for interviewing someone on the O Connect platform in English. So welcome oh, really? and congratulations to you for being my first uh, guest here. Thank and you. so, uh, Daniela, share with the listeners um, a little bit about you. Okay, so I'm an intuitive healer and relationship coach. For the last 14 years, I've been healing people from all over the world and uh, really leading them to make tremendous transformation in their lives. Um, I'm uh, going to tell you about my journey, how I started, and this then you understand. So um, I came from a completely different field. I was married. They, I'm divorced. I have 19-year-old girls, twin girls. And uh, I, I was, my ex-husband was uh, in the high-tech industry. Um, and then I was working with him in his startup. And I was studying my bachelor degree. But when I gave birth to my first, uh, to my twin girls, I almost died. I had something that is very, very rare. It's called a peripartium cardiomyopathy. So it's failure of the muscle of the heart. And it was, you know, life shocking from like a completely healthy uh, person. I came out of the hospital 100% invalid and I needed assistance in everything. And after six months, I completely healed. And that was my private miracle. So after I healed my own heart physically, I understood that I have to heal it also emotionally. And I started going to healers and that's how I open up to this beautiful world of spirituality. I always had it in me, but I was afraid of that. And I think only after I understood that if I won't be connected to myself and to my healing and to my spirituality, I won't be living. That was my wake up call as a healer. I, I understood that that's what's my life mission. So after I healed my emotional heart with the Teta healing, the gate healing, all the healing modalities, Reiki healing modalities that I that works on the subconscious, on the soul level. I started healing other people's hearts and making those beautiful changes in their life, like I had, and that became my life missions. And that what I did. That's what I've been doing for the last 14 years. And uh, today, I develop my own modality that it's called Release RCM Release Connect and Manifest that I release all the traumas and all the negative, um, everything that blocking us, negative beliefs, everything that blocking us really from really being ourselves, being fully connected to ourselves. After I release everything from the past, I completely start to connect us to ourselves, to really starting to know ourselves because a lot of people, they please others, they don't know who they are, they don't know what their life mission is, so I help them discover it. And this is the connect and to self-love and self-acceptance. And from that, I can really manifest everything because it's from the heart, the mind, the soul, and the, I say it's the gut, like the gut feeling, you know, that the intuitive that feeling. Intuition. Intuitive feeling. Um, wow, that's pretty amazing. And this is not the first time I heard your story. And again, it always touches me uh, very deeply. And when I think about it now, basically, your uh, professional journey runs parallel to the growth of your daughters, right? And I think that what caught me for a moment, uh, one word in there was the word journey. I many people, you know, all of us basically in our lives, there's ups and downs and we all deal with it differently. And um, some people uh, help seek help and manage to overcome it. And we'll talk about that in a minute. And some 
just let it float nearby. Um, it's not magic. It doesn't happen overnight, right? It's a process. It's a pro it's a life process. And I and even now I say I'm 40 years in this process. It's not that in the end you're like, oh great, I'm done. <laughs> Every time you discover, okay, there's new things because, you know, we, we develop all the time and also events happen. Think about it. Corona, it's a trauma. It's a world trauma. You know, what we've been through in Israel, October 7th, it's traumatic. So, you know, you have to, again, cleanse this trauma from your system again, because even if you healed from past trauma, there's new things that are coming up to your life. Right. And then new adapt those the behaviors. Time. And what we learned to um, overcome the new situation. Um, yes, it's very interesting. I, I must say I did dig a little bit into um, your, um, your website and I was listening to some testimonials. I have to say um, we, we see in many places testimonials in writing. These were video testimonials, and I uh, highly recommend people, our listeners, to go in. And you can find the links to Daniela's uh, website in the uh, description here below. Um, I think for a healer to have um, her clients uh, willing to uh, give a testimonial, a video testimonial, and their the three that I was listening to, each one of them is uh, talking about something a little different in their life. And um, so sincere. I My thoughts were, there's probably a very special relationship that you are able to build with your clients if they are willing to give that live, that video testimonial. So if you can give us a, a few tips and also a few examples of the process that um, you helped um, people go through. First, thank you for the compliment. It's beautiful. And yeah, it's very intimate. And it's, you know, also everything was conducted on, uh, you know, online. There was clients that I've never met face to face. And you can really, really establish such an intimate relationship with people also online. And it was really heart to heart because if you come with an open heart and I also help them open their hearts, it just creates a beautiful safe for them to really reveal themselves, you know, and to go through. So with one client, I really helped her. She was a morning she lost her two parents in a very short time and she was very, very connected to them. Very. Uh, so she felt like even though she had her own family, she was married, she has her kids, she felt lost without them. And, uh, and she felt that she's going to lose her mind. She felt that, that the grief was so strong and the anxiety without them guiding her in the world. Um, and then I really helped her connect to her emotion first that it's okay to grieve, it's okay to feel like that because if we have fear of the emotion, it's just going to grow on us. You know, everything that we resist in life just grow bigger. And when we start accepting it in ourselves and saying, it's okay, it's okay to cry all day, even for a week or for a month. You know, I just lost both of my parents and it's okay that I can't sleep at night and it's okay. I'm just accepting it and being without and allowing myself and knowing that it's normal and I didn't lose my mind. That also helped her just heal, you know, and I also release the energetic ties with her parents and I release all the beliefs that she had that she can't really trust herself because she was always going for them for advice. So I helped her going back to herself, trusting her intuition, knowing that now she can rely on herself and bringing the power back to her and not just to the, like relying on the other person. So that's what I do with my clients. The other client that I helped him, he was really going through a very, very difficult time separating for the first love and we all know how first love is like you know breaks our heart breaks our heart first time uh and so i really also helped him go with this separation and starting 
also relying on himself because he was a little bit manipulated by this relationship and he wasn't aware, he was very naive, it was the first, so I helped him also recognize, okay, where what was the manipulation, where I can trust myself. So it, was, it, it wasn't a healthy relationship. And so I help also people recognize that they are in a toxic relationship. A lot of the people, they have the codependency issues, you know, that they, they don't think that they can be with another person without the other person. And when they go to in a relationship, they are pleasers and they will do everything not to lose the relationship. This comes also from fear of abandonment, so fear of being alone. So I help them be centered and start in valuing themselves and also knowing that a healthy relationship is that I come with my own world and he comes with his own world and we connect, we combine. But it's not that I'm... I can live without him and I have to leave his world in here and we have to do everything 24 hours, everything we have to do together and we have to let the other person know where we are. <laughs> like, so yeah, and I help them really starting to build a relationship from a very healthy place, from a place of setting boundaries, from a place of having my own center, of a place of having my own life habits, things that I want, meaning, meaning is something is so important, you know, people, they can have money and they can have everything, but even if they don't have meaning, so. Their why, need to answer their whys. Yeah. Um, that's so important and um, so inspiring, you know, to hear how other people are going through these difficult times and finding the right resources and the right, um, powers to really yeah. at the end of the at the end of the day they they find the right power to help themselves right because you're not there 24 7 for them you yeah. are guiding them how they I'm guiding can them and i'm telling because you know some people are like we want to to have session with you like every day of and i said no because then you have codependency with me so we're gonna do it like twice a week that's the most and yeah, they can text me and answer me, but I, I don't let them rely only on me. So I let the power into them. And those people that I really, you know, uh, help them, like this guy that he found beautiful, healthy love four months after. It was beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and I have I have beautiful love stories that people that really released the toxic relationship have found yeah a very healthy relationship and it warms our, my heart every time it happens you know. that's wonderful so daniela for our listeners um can you give us a few tips when we get into a uh, challenging um time in our life and many of us are um experiencing it you know with what has happened in israel since october 7th but in other places around the world People are dealing with life and life happens. And so what are the tips that you could offer us um, when we feel that we are in that moment of challenge? Okay. So first of all, people that, you know, from the October 7th, I, first, first tip is like, don't watch a lot of news. Don't watch a lot of media. Like, you know, a lot of people just spend so much time on the media. The media is just draining our energy. So take time for you to be with yourself. Do even five minutes of meditation. I have a meditation channel on YouTube. We can put the link there. There's beautiful meditations of five minutes. Just connect to yourself. And it helps you really connect to your emotion. And it helps you breathe. And it helps you calm down because you know that the the ninety percent of the diseases they come from stress and we live in a stress world. So my tip is take like fifteen minutes, even fifteen minutes a day. I if you can take half an hour, it's great. But for yourself, just to be with yourself, just to relax and breathe, meditate, do the things that you love, go out for a walk. Don't just you know be there for other people all the time, be stressed for life. You have to take every day sometimes for yourself. Start every day with, with being in gratitude. Do at least even three things. 
that you are in gratitude for in your life. And that's when we are in gratitude, always the universe would like to just give us more. So it also helps us, you know, lift our energy to start a day with a good day. Imagine yourself in a pole of light, okay? Start a day, just imagine yourself in a pole of, then I feel empowered. I feel more like when I'm polite, I feel that I'm more like safe, that the energy can get into me because, you know, now the energy is very stressful. So I feel I'm protected. So I'm doing my own ceremony in the morning, just uh, doing that with the gratitude, with the meditation, um, morning walks. If I'm a night person. You can do it at night, but just uh, consume all the, you know, contents that are good for you. Don't consume toxic contact. Don't be next to, co to toxic people. Just be with people that gives you energy, people that are also doing things that they love in their life, that they enjoy their life, that have meaning from life. Surround yourself with an environment that can give you energy and get, can support you. That's really important too. That's um, amazing. Actually, you know, it's, when I listen to you, it almost sounds like common sense, but for some reason, we just forget it. We understand that in order to take care of our bodies, we have to watch what we consume. We have to make sure that we exercise. And with our mind, the same thing. We have to watch what we consume and we have to exercise. And thank you for making that point so clear for us. Um, and we really have to make sure uh, being aware, right, of, of how are we conducting our day and what are we fulfilling it with. Mm -hmm. um, wow, Daniela, the time goes by so fast when I talk with you, and it's always so interesting. Um, I hear that some great news is happening, and you are now in Israel, but you will be coming to yeah. our continent right? Crossing the yeah. ocean. So share with us a little bit about your plans in the near future, I must say. Yes. Yeah, so on the uh, beginning of April, I'm coming to Florida. I'm going to be in Miami and I'm going to be giving lectures to the Israeli community and the Jewish community over there. Um, so if you're there and you want to hear my lecture, I'll be happy if you contact me because I will be there for a month and a half uh, for this journey. I'm doing it voluntarily. Uh, to really like grow the you know um, all the messages and what I want to really uh, share with the world about how to deal with today's difficult times in uh, in Israel and especially in all over the world you know a place where that empowering the society wow that's amazing <laughs> that you're um, giving your time like this. And I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. For those um, who would like to follow Daniela, you will find all the links in the description below. And I want to thank you again, Daniela, for uh, coming to meet me, uh, oh, connecting with me here in this room. For those who are curious about this uh, um, revolutionary platform and how it can help you uh, maximize and leverage your business. You're more than welcome to contact Daniela or myself, and we will help you grow with that as well. So thank you, Daniela. I look forward to hearing from you from my continent next time. And um, I want to wish you a safe trip and a uh, joyous um, lecture and joyous time overseas, away from your home, from your daughters. I know you're going just for a short visit, right? Yeah. And um, I'm sure that we will be talking again on this platform, either um, talking one-on-one -on -one or in a larger group. And I will just want to thank you. Thank you for being open-minded and for sharing with me your time and your knowledge. So, thank you so much for having me again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you soon.